Welcome back to Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby. Welcome back to another episode of Cocktails from the Bourbon Bible. All right. Next up, Cocktails from the Bourbon Bible. Not the old fashioned. We're going with the bourbon, oh, I'm sorry. The whiskey smash. People, the whiskey smash. Hope you know how this goes by now. I'm gonna read this little uh, excerpt right here. And then we'll go over the ingredients and how it's made a little bit. There's a little bit of history out here, which is kind of cool. Not a whole bunch. So I'm just gonna read it to you. Hopefully, you know, if you guys have the bourbon Bible, read it, you're ahead of the game but I'm gonna physically make it here for you for the first time. Other than the old fashioned, I've never <laughs> made any of these drinks that I'm gonna have this little series on from the Bourbon Bible. So there's that. Okay, so the Whiskey Smash is a variation of the classic mint julep, which is also in here, which can use whiskey, brandy, gin, tequila, or whatever spirit you particularly fancy we see the smash appear in both Jerry Thomas's 1880, Jerry Thomas's 1887 revised edition, and Harry Johnson's 1888 bartender's manual. Over the years, the specifics of how the drink is made have changed. Some use crushed ice, some don't. But the basic structure of spirit, mint, sweet. Uh, and sour have remained the same. All right, so here's the ingredients. Two fluid ounces of bourbon. Definitely got that. Wild Turkey 101, people. Best utility bourbon on the planet. Three quarters ounce, blah, 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 blah. So we'll get three quarters of an ounce of simple sugar. Simple syrup. All right, simple sugar syrup. I never call it that, so it's messing me up. So a three quarter ounce of simple syrup. <laughs> Jeez. T -t -t Today, Junior. <laughs> okay, so uh, three quarter ounces of the simple syrup. So once we have all this stuff, we're gonna gently muddle the mint leaves into the bottom of a cocktail shaker. It says four to six. Five. Since it says four to six, we'll go five. Ooh, minty. Man, I really don't like mint stuff. Personally, that kind of mint. I like candy kind of mint. You like Andes, chocolate mints, that kind of stuff. I like that. Mint chip ice cream, I like that. This stuff, eh, not so much. Anyway, but I digress. Uh, gently muddle the mint leaves and lemon wedges. Lemon wedges. It says to muddle them. So you gotta have a muddler or something to smash it up with. So here we go. Muddle them in the bottom of the cocktail shaker. Then fill with ice and the remaining ingredients. Shake and double strain into a rocks glass filled with ice. All right. So me, I normally wouldn't use a bunch of ice. I just don't like that. I usually use a, a big block cube or sphere or something like that, clear, just a little bit bougie like that. But today, I'm just gonna do it with a big old crushed ice. How about that? We're gonna do it. All right. First time we've ever muddled people, so we're gonna see how this turns out. All right, so filled with ice. We can do that. If you're making this for someone else, don't use your hand. I'm making this for myself. All right, I'm gonna fill it here. Use some tongs or a scoop, something like that, right? Just making it for myself. I did wash my hands. This is add the remaining ingredients, which are uh, two fluid ounces of bourbon. We can do that. 
It's like a TikTok video or something like that, right? Three quarter ounce. Simple syrup. Simple syrup. From cane sugar. Alright, so I'm gonna shake this sucker up. Get my rocks glass ready. Oh, let me put some ice in there. Get my rocks glass ready with my crushed ice as it shows in the bourbon bible. Right? I am not a bartender, obviously, so I'm not a professional shaker. Don't work me on that. Alright. So then, it says to pour the drink over the ice. Woo, let's see what we got, huh? Double strain, people. Let's double strain it. So we know what that, I knew what that means, right? Double means two. So here and here. Yeah, I'm catching lots of chunks here, actually. Oh, I'm glad I did this. There we go. All right. Yeah, I caught some stuff there. Double strain and caught it. And the last thing it says here is to slap the mint spray to release the aromatics and add it to the drink for a garnish. So, that's how I'm gonna do that. Add it to this drink for a garnish. There we go. There, there it is. First one I've ever made, people. There you go. That is a whiskey smash. I've had them before, and I know I like a cherry whiskey smash, so in the future, I'm going to be making a cherry whiskey smash probably soon. So that's it, though. That is the whiskey smash from the Bourbon Bible. Let's see what it tastes like here. Cheers. Refreshing, actually, it's just decent. Didn't know what I was gonna like with all that lemon on there, with the bourbon and all that. Didn't know. Wouldn't it without the cherry. I know I like the cherry version of it. It is pretty refreshing. I, I kind of like this. Yeah, that's gonna be a nice summer drink for me right there. I can tell already. Anyway, hope you liked the uh, episode. There's going to be more coming. At least 18 more from the Bourbon Bible, right? That right there. I'll leave the uh, link to this in the description if I can find it. So yeah, it's it's a nice little uh, handy little book. And if you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Helps this channel out. We're trying to grow. We're trying to hit that 2,000 right now. Get us a trip to Arizona. Go meet up with some peeps there. So I hope you like this. I like it. It's actually uh, pretty tasty. So what do we like to say on this channel? Sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad acts. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Until next time.